YouTube, what is up? It's Jit Romney here and welcome to the first ever episode of Tuesday's Tips, or I might call it maybe Tips Tuesdays, I don't know what I should call it. But basically, this is gonna be a video series on how to get better at MLB The Show. It's mainly gonna be about gameplay tips, so you know, hitting, pitching. It's probably gonna be leaning more towards hitting just because that's something I'm pretty good at in this game. And I also maybe might throw in like, I don't know how to make stubs or something like that. But basically, every single Tuesday for I don't know how long I'm gonna try to do this for a while I'm just gonna be uploading you know tips um, you know how to get better at the game mindset and all that stuff so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe turn on the notification if you guys haven't dropped a like please go ahead and do that it really helps the channel grow and yeah let's uh, let's get into the video all right guys so before we get into this uh, I'm gonna be recording this video with my buddy Matt uh, his twitch is Matt foo 11 if you guys could go check him out that'd be awesome so basically we're just gonna play a friendly I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm thinking while I'm hitting all right, so before we even start to hit, guys, the first thing you gotta look at is what pitches he's throwing. So you can do that by hitting R2 in the game, or for me, I'm just gonna pause and show you. So he's using Corbin Burns, who's a pitcher I see a lot. So he has that cutter, sinker, curveball, circle change, and a slider, okay? So me personally, and just like kind of knowing myself playing this game a lot, I know that I hit the sinker a lot better than I do the cutter. I also hit the curveball a little bit better than the circle change and slider. So those are like the two pitches I want to look for. Um, right now, since it is the start of the game, I'm going to try to be relatively passive. So the first like three to six batters, I'm going to take that first pitch. And if it's a ball, I'm going to take till one strike. All right, so let's get into the first at bat all right so first pitch he goes cutter down and away and he's gonna go sinker in all right so now i got two strikes i don't want to get beaten by the fastball inside the zone but i don't want to chase right there that was a really good slider so what i did wrong right there is um you know i let him get two strikes really fast he also just threw a really really good slider i wasn't expecting that to be a strike i wanted that to be a ball but, um, you know, I, I try to allow that pitch to be a ball. And what I mean by that is I don't really care if it is a strike because it's not a pitch I hit well. So if, even if I did make like relatively good contact, it's still probably an out for me just because I know I don't hit that pitch well. All right. So now we got George Brett up. Personally, I like to look for the away sinker uh, with lefties because that's a pitch I just hit really, really well. Um, so that's that's the pitch I want this at bat. If I get it, uh, I should be able to hit it really well. All right, so right here, like I said, I'm looking for that sinker down and away. I'm also going to take this pitch, right? So cutter inside. It's really common for people to start that out with a lefty up. Let's see what he goes to next. He goes for a slider for a ball. Okay. So I'm still taking right here. I want him to get that pitch count up. Right there, he threw a sinker. I could have swung at it, but that's not what I want. I want that sinker down and away. Right there, we make a really, really good swing with George Brett. So like I was saying, right? So I have count leverage in there. I don't have to chase the pitch he wants me to hit, okay? So I stuck to my approach. I wanted that sinker down away. It wasn't the greatest to pit, uh, pitch to swing at, but it was a really good swing and we got a home run out of it. All right, so first pitch, we're just gonna take it. Okay, circle change. We could have hit that one really well, but I just wanna take that first pitch, get his pitch count up like I've been saying. Then he goes cutter away. So one really important thing I've noticed this year is a lot of people will go change up cutter. So you might think, oh, well, they don't really look the same. And that's kind of why, because, you know, you, if you wanted to tunnel, you'd probably go change up sinker. But if you really want to catch somebody off guard, people will go change up cutter. So that's what he's doing right here. OK, he goes sinker down right down the middle. That's a pretty good pitch. I, I read it really well, though. Let's see what he goes with right here. Goes with the slider. I hit it really, really well. That's a great swing. It's pretty unlucky. But that's all right. That's a really good swing. I can't be mad about that. Okay, so now we got Frank up. So one really key thing with Frank is for whatever reason, it just seems like a pitch right here. It's always a home run. I think it might be laughing about. I don't know if it's a swing, but um, yeah, he's just a really good hitter. And again, obviously we take that first pitch. Go sinker slider. So now I'm starting to pick up that he goes with a sinker. Then he goes with a pitch away or vice versa. Really good check swing right there. It's a really good pitch by him as well. Another really good take by me. Two circle changes right here. I'm thinking he's gonna go with a cutter uh, inside. Cutter or sinker inside. He does go with that cutter inside. So again, like I just said, sinker, cut, or, uh, cutter changeup. 
right there i hit that sinker really really well man really good swing with uh frank and like i said that's the pitch i want so every single at bat that is a pitch i'm looking for the sinker inside we're just gonna keep the same approach right we're gonna take this first pitch okay throws that sinker inside now that is a pitch i want right but i want to get his pitch count up he's throwing 18 pitches this inning which is really really good okay so that's the first time he hasn't gone to a slider or cutter after a sinker so here he should probably go to a slider he does go to a slider okay so now let's see what he goes with i think he might go with a cutter he does go with the cutter all right so even though i struck out right there that's okay maybe i should have got that check swing who knows but i've already picked up what he wants to do on the mound now it's the second inning we're going to keep that same approach of taking that first pitch one thing is is we got to think about what we were successful and what we didn't do well last inning so we were successful on keeping to our approach and hitting that sinker inside to righties and away to lefties what we weren't too successful at was um, hitting that away pitch. So that away cutter and slider, that's actually what we struck out on. So that's something I just want to keep in the back of my mind when I do have a righty up is he does have Corbin Burns up there. So he doesn't have to always throw that sinker inside to me because that is the pitch I want. And um, if sometimes if you're playing somebody you've played before, a really smart opponent, that will stop throwing that pitch or what they will do, what which really affects me is they will start throwing that sinker for a ball and I'll be so geared up for it that I will just swing it anyways. Um, so that's just one thing I got to keep in the back of my mind. I do want to keep hitting and I want to keep playing well here. So I, I'm just going to keep the uh, same approach, but I just got to keep those things in the back of my head. So like I said, we, we want that away sinker. We want that sinker right here. But again, we're going to take this first pitch. Okay, circle change inside. Don't want that. So here he should go with the cutter. He does go with the cutter. I'm still taking until I get a strike. I just want to get his pitch count up, get his confidence low and energy low. Maybe we can get that the bullpen earlier. Misses with the sinker inside. Gonna go ahead and walk me. All right, so, I mean, he just didn't, Matt just didn't want to pitch to Babe. I mean, I'd be scared to pitch to Babe, too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's whatever. We're in a Discord call right now. But, um, okay, so here, right, I have a runner on first. I do not want to end into double play. So now it becomes more important that I have to be on the pitches that I want. So, again, I want that sinker inside badly. Uh, if he gives it to me, he gives it to me. Okay, so like I said, I don't want to into double play. And and again, we're just going to take this first pitch. Okay, great pitch right there. I could have hit that one well. I did read it well. It was a sinker. Right there, sinker, slider. Okay, that's another really common uh, sequence slash tunnel. Okay, it goes with a cutter. Looks like he does want me to roll over, so I'm just going to keep taking. Right there, that slider did hang. It's actually kind of a hard pitch to hit, honestly. I'm not I'm not even joking. Right, he jams you right there with the uh the slider. He gets the out. He did he did jam me right there with that sinker, excuse me. Um so again, that's an, that's another thing I'm picking up on though, is now he's starting to go uh sinker slider or slider sinker. So um that's just something I want to look out for. So again, also we're gonna take this first pitch. We don't want to hit into a double play. Okay, so that's the biggest thing. I did miss that sinker inside. But we just do not want to hit him to double play right here. Okay, so again, sinker slider, right? So now let's see what he goes with here. Should we go with a cutter or uh, maybe a circle change? Goes with a circle change just outside. That's a really good take by me. Honestly, I'm just taking anything that's on the right side of the plate. And again, all right, so that that I, I just went uh, away from my approach. He doesn't turn the double play, which that's that's my dog, Matt. But um, I, I went away with my approach right there. That's why I hit. I should have been a double play. So what I did wrong right there is I chased that away pitch. It looked really easy to hit. It was actually a changeup, not a sinker. So that's why he got me to be so early. Um, but that's just something I'm trying to get out of my game. And that's something I'm trying to work on. So, you know, getting that runner on first, if I can get him to second, it's probably going to be a run, right? All right. So right here, we're also going to hit with uh, Randy Johnson. So the main thing right now, since there are two outs, we're going to uh, swing away. But say there was one out and the runner on first, um, I just would take the out. I wouldn't even try to bunt. I would just try to take the strike out. Just because it's so easy to hit into a double play. Uh, if the runner was on second and there's one out, then I would hit away with him. Maybe even try to bunt him over to third, but um, there's really just no reason not to swing away here. But there are times where people will try to bunt with one out and you turn a double play. It's just kind of a dumb play. Um, one thing they did with pitchers this year is they actually can hit a little bit better. It seems like their stances are a little bit uh, better. Uh, better swing animation, stuff like that. Like right there. I mean, that's a terrible swing. I'll take that hit. I wanted that sinker inside. You know what I'm saying, baby? 
Okay, so now we got two runners on. Uh, we got Mookie bets coming up. We just want to keep that same approach. You know, same approach. We want that sinker inside. So again, right, we're going to take that first pitch. All right, so you just went slider. I'm sitting dead red sinker. He throws it. I do miss it. I mean, that's not a bad swing. It's not the greatest swing either. I do miss it. The timing was there at least. Um, but that was a pretty productive inning. We made him throw a lot of pitches. We got some runners on, made him have, uh, you know, kind of some stress. And we also picked up on what he's doing out there on the mound now. So we should be able to be really successful next inning. Now we're going into the third inning. Now here is where I might, you know, start to swing at that first pitch just because his pitch count is a little bit higher. There's really two times I swing at the first pitch. And that is either I know exactly what pitch is coming or I read it really well. So here, if I read that it's going to be a sinker, you know, down the middle, maybe inside, maybe outside, then that's when I'd pull the trigger. Uh, if it's not, then, you know, I'm just going to auto take it um another thing is is that last inning we did kind of sell you know we, we missed that sinker inside with mookie i mean we had good timing pci was kind of on it but um the one with clemente we should have hit into a double play luckily matt didn't turn it um so that's just another thing right so if we get a runner on first or second you know he's gonna want to pitch away he's gonna want me to roll over because that's something i struggle with and that's just an easy way to get people out so i gotta sit back on that outside pitch and i also gotta be it but i still have to be ready for that inside pitch because i know i hit the inside better than i do the outside Right, so those are just the things that I'm thinking of right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into this inning. Okay, so right here, right, if it's a sinker, I'm gonna swing at it if I read it well. And he does not throw it, he throws a cutter in there. I did read that one relatively well. So here he should go with a circle change, maybe a sinker. Because of that circle change, uh, I just didn't read it well and I know I'm gonna be too early on that. Right there, we missed the slider, or the, uh, excuse me, missed that sinker. I did want that pitch really bad, though. Okay, great take right there. Again, so he's going sinker, and then he goes cutter or slider. Right there, I hit that ball really, really well. It's a sinker inside. It didn't actually break too much, which is um, kind of something you see with guys who throw harder sinkers, is it doesn't move as much, but that was a really good swing by me. So like I said at the start of this, I want that sinker away, okay? I want that sinker away, even if it's first pitch, I'm gonna swing. Okay, there it is right there. We hit it really, really well. It's a great swing by Grit right there, man. That's a tier one cap. Okay, so now we're starting to pull away. We gotta stay aggressive though, okay? So we do have a runner on second. He's gonna... He's gonna probably want to pitch me away like he did last time. So we're gonna be ready for that cutter now. We're gonna change our approach from sitting on that sinker and we're gonna sit on that cutter away. Like I just said, uh, we're gonna be sitting on that away pitch. And now, also, like I said earlier, is Frank hits that down and away pitch really, really well. Okay, so here it gives me a cutter. So now he should go with the circle change. This is that circle change down the middle to strike. Again, I was just trying to take first strike right there though. Gives me that cutter. I'm really early on and I get really, really lucky. That's gonna be a hit. So that's something I have to work on now. If I was playing this like a real game, I would say like, look, I've been so early on these away pitches. I need to start sitting back. I need to wait on it. I need to wait. You know, I'm gonna turn on that inside pitch, but it's all good. Right there, I go after that sinker. That's a pretty decent swing. Not the greatest PCI. Luckily, Matt throws it a third. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so again, I mean, I'm not having the greatest swings with runners on. Um, that's something I've struggled with this year as well. I'm kind of, I hit a lot of solo home runs. Okay, right here, it gives me a circle change inside. Let's see what he goes with. He should go with a cutter. Goes with a sinker. I hit, I hit that ball really, really well. I'm surprised that's an out, but that scores a run. It's a productive out by Babe Ruth. All right, so we got Jimmy Fox up. We got to sit, we got to sit back on this away pitch. Okay, circle change down and away. He should go with a cutter again. He's been doing that all game. Goes with a slider now, okay. So now he might go sinker, he could still go cutter. Goes with a sinker inside, okay. So now I'm starting to read, He's not. he doesn't want to throw a lot of strikes. Right there, another great take. Okay, we got a lot of count leverage. Pitch gotta be right down the middle for us to swing. Great at bat. That's a perfect at bat right there. Keeps the line moving. Now we got Roberto Clemente up with the bases loaded. So right here, like I said, if that's if it's an away pitch, which I think he'll go with for a strike, I have to be late on that. I have to be or at least later. Okay, so he goes with the sinker inside. I don't want that too inside. Make him throw a strike here. 
Okay, it goes with the circle change. Now again, it's gotta be a sinker or, or it's gotta be a cutter or a slider. Goes with the slider away. Okay, so now I'm sitting on a sinker inside. Gives me that cutter down and away. That's a perfect swing. Really, really good swing right there with Roberto. That's gonna be a grand slam. Right, so that's just, that. All that was is just me sticking to an approach and realizing what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so now obviously you're probably not gonna have this much time in the game where I'm pausing and talking to you guys, but these are just the things I think of while I am playing. You know what I mean? Uh, these are the things that are going through my head. All right, guys, so that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys did learn something. The main thing I was trying to show in this is to you know stick to your approach. Um, if things are working good, then just stick with it. If they're not, then you gotta start to adjust to what the pitcher is doing. Now, one way you can do that is by checking the, I think, pitcher or batter analysis. It's one of the two where it'll show directly where the pitch is. You know, you can see what the first, second, third, fourth pitch is. But yeah, so this is going to be a series that I do weekly. So I'm going to be posting, you know, just one tips video a week. I'm also going to start doing debuts on Thursdays. Those will be up. Uh, I'm trying to actually become more consistent with this YouTube channel. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I actually do want to become really consistent with this. Uh, this is just something I really enjoy doing. But with that being said, you know, if you guys did like the video, please drop a like. It really helps this channel grow. Also, if you guys could uh, subscribe, that'd be awesome. If not, I just really appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. And yeah, just have a good rest of your day, guys.